and welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer, and this is your weekly wrap up. In this week's news, holy hot! It's summer, and if you haven't felt it, let the numbers speak for themselves. This week, we hit a record in Durango. A scorching 95 degrees made Tuesday the hottest day of the year so far. That tied the record set back in 1982. That heat has led to some restrictions. A fire ban in Mesa Verde National Park took effect this week. Not only the heat, but the lack of moisture in the vegetation makes it that much more fire prone. So no open fires or campground rings, no fireworks, and smoking is only permitted in enclosed vehicles. Now, what happens when you run out of water on a river trip? Keep paddling. Three FLC students are doing research on the Missouri River, and they've run into a few problems like huge waves and high winds, but they chalk it up to team bonding. They're collecting data on the effects of agricultural runoff. The research could provide information about the animus as well. Other research has proven that farm animals, cows specifically, receive an F on the environmentally friendly scales. It was found that cows are not efficient at converting feed to protein, although the National Beef Cattlemen's Association disagrees. Turns out the cow's bodily functions aren't exactly helping out the ozone. They're producing methane, a greenhouse gas more potent than carbon dioxide. Other creatures are making themselves comfortable around town. Deer are making themselves right at home in Durango. Because of the variety of food choices and lack of predators, their population is increasing. Some parts of the country hire sharpshooters to reduce the number, but that requires city council approval. Until then, kiss your garden goodbye, I guess. On to some cycling news. The last week of the Tour de France proved to be an interesting one. Thousands of miles have been covered and that hasn't slowed down these beasts. The racers climbed through the Pyrenees, rode over cobblestone, some taking a tumble, all to finish today at the Champs-Élysées in France. One man has proved how tough Italians are. Vincenzo Nibali held the yellow jersey for a majority of the race and crushed his opponents. Until next year, boys. Today, the women take on the challenge. It marks the first La Course by Le Tour de France. And Durango local Carmen Small is participating. Good luck. Thanks for watching the weekly wrap up right here on FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer, and we'll see you tomorrow.